We're on our final lesson for this Monday, boys and girls, and we've had a great day celebrating Reese, star student, and we've had a number of fun lessons today. So you're gonna think about that. Um, think about what was your, what you liked best today and share that um, in the cl Google Classroom or on Facebook later today. So we just watched a video with Jack Hartman talking about the four parts of the sentence. So let's look at the the four parts of the sentence right here. So a sentence has a capital letter at the beginning. It has a finger space in between each word. You have punctuation at the end. In this one, it has a period, but sometimes you're gonna have a question mark or even an exclamation mark. And then you're going to have a complete thought. So it's going to be telling you about something or about something, okay? So for instance, um, this sentence is, here is my friend. And then the illustration shows um, that Kelly Cat did shows that Kelly Cat drew Grumpy Cat and what they like to do together. And um, there's Kelly Cat, there's Grumpy Cat, there's a garbage can, and right here it says, mmm, garbage, yum. So if you remember from the story about Grumpy Cat, Grumpy Cat and Kelly Cat liked going outside and um, digging through the garbage to find um, food scraps to eat. So today we have um, a new sentence that we're going to cut out and write. And um, remember when we use this book, Boys and Girls, when we're cutting out the words, um, we know that the first word in the sentence is going to not only have a capital letter, but it's going to have a star next to it. And then the last word in the sentence will always have the punctuation. So let's see what we have here. Well, we have a capital I. Would that be the beginning of the sentence? In this book, no, because it does, does not have the star next to it. But I can, can be at the beginning of a sentence. The word I, you should know, is always gonna be capitalized. So let's go ahead and cut these. I'm gonna put I up here. There's a capital W with a star next to it. That is the word what. So we're gonna put that right here, ready to paste. And then when I cut this in half, we have the word B with a question mark, so that's at the end. And this is the word can. So let's see. What can I be? Oh, that's a fun sentence. There's a, there's a, a, a day in the year when you use that sentence in planning for, you say, what can I be? Well, what about Halloween? Don't you think about what you can dress up uh, like for Halloween? Or um, if you're playing in a, in a play like The Lion King, it's like, what character are you going to be in that? So there's a lot of things um, that you can think about, or maybe you're, you're in a, in, gonna play sports, and you can say, what can I be? What position are you gonna play? Are you gonna be the pitcher? Are you gonna be, um, the catcher, are you going to be the goalie? You know, so um, this is you. You're going to finish the hair and, and make that look like you. And you're thinking about what you can be. And that's why there is a question mark at the end of this. So I want to show you something very important. When you trace this, make sure you use your capital letter at the beginning. So W H A T, there's the word what, can, C, K. A, N, can, and then I. I is always going to be capitalized no matter where it comes in a sentence. And then the word B. Stick first, belly um, attached to that, and then E, B. Okay, question mark. This is an asking sentence. We don't know what, um, what you can be. You're going to show us with your drawing what you can be. Okay, so have fun with this. Um, I can't wait to see what you come up with. And then um, go ahead and finish that up. Give yourself an exit ticket when you're done. Make sure you read it to someone. And then we're going to get ready right now with uh, Little Blackie to say closing prayer. And remember, we're celebrating Mary, our mother. So we're going to go ahead and say the Hail Mary together today. Here we go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Lawrence Martyr, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, 
in the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you had a great Monday today, boys and girls. And um, Reese, thank you for helping us celebrate you. And to your family, thank you for helping create the uh, Star Student poster and the pages for the Marvin the Monkey Journal. And I look forward to working with you again tomorrow, boys and girls.